Welcome back again today, friends. I'm going to try to film whatever this week is going to be. Yesterday, we went to Sight and Sound Theater in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and saw the Moses play for, excuse me while I scratch my nose, for my 44th birthday. This is my Mama's March of Happiness Week. I don't know what to call this, but I just want to lay in bed and cry, okay? So instead of doing that, I just want to be busy this week. Thank you to Homeschool Plus for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to click the first link in the description below and get started with Homeschool Plus today. Also, when I look around, I see lots of messes and other things that need done at home. And obviously I've established I don't want to do those right now, but my, my plan, because I'm trying to get like a little loose survival life plan together, is that when we get back from this week's traveling around, that next week it'll be good for me to have a couple like deep purging, organizing, you know, depths of my soul days and like, you know, make thrift store bags and those kind. That's next week. That's not even this video, but this week, I'm just trying to put one foot in front of the other. So we're preparing to go now. Now we had discussed staying in Pennsylvania for our day trip yesterday and doing Hershey Park and such there. Um, we just had some reasons we wanted to come back home and then head down to Williamsburg for a few days. That's what we're doing right now. Now you do see, these are all the onions that I harvested in my last video. I had my 12 year old lay them down here. Some of them are kind of on top of each other. I don't know, it's probably good enough. I'm not gonna worry about it. It'll be fine. Uh, I also have these red tomatoes that we need to get in the freezer down here. As I have shared, I do have kids that have been getting tomatoes in bags for me to at least get them in the freezer. I'm gonna start filling my bottom basket like I did last year in the freezer and just, yeah, start putting red tomatoes in there and hopefully we'll have a good bit of tomatoes for us to can later this fall when my head's on a little more straight than it is right now. And it's time to go and the zucchini is done. Let's see here if it'll, oh, I was, it's warming trays and I wasn't turning it on uh, because I was filming. So honestly, I, I don't want to deal with this zucchini right now. And so I'm probably going to feed it to my pigs today before we go. That's just where I am in life and that's okay because feeding the pigs makes future bacon. These are all the cherries that we had to get thrown in there. If you remember a couple videos back when I had got so sick with my silly eye infection and stuff, um, and we just had to throw things in the freezer. So hopefully, you know, at some point in the near future, I'll feel like dealing with all this again, but it's here waiting for us. And these little meals I never actually got to, but I did a Walmart grocery pickup order while I was going through a lot of stuff and I had just got myself a lot of these. I ate some of them. I see the rest of them here, so I will work on those next week when we come back. And so last year when I was saving my own tomatoes and then also getting a lot of tomato deals, I just filled these baskets with them and I took this off to get a lot of the tomatoes in, but I think at least for now I can get this load here. I do have about uh, seven or eight gallon bags full of tomatoes. These have all been washed and a bunch of these, like these are the brandy wines. I've never grown those before, but we will just fill this up. And like I say, there will be another, another season coming up where I will feel like doing these kind of things so my future self will thank me as we say but right now I'm just gonna at least get them in the freezer
Actually, I think I will just have one of these for breakfast. Just takes care of that, huh? Chicken stir fry. What in the world do we have going on here? Might need two of these. One is only 200 calories. So here's some of the amenities, and I'm gonna go figure out how to get registered now. All right, so you know, Mama's Happiness Tour, mini vacation time. I'll give you a tour of where we're staying. So things got a little complicated. I booked on Verbo how I normally do, and the owners, wherever we rented, said that the unit wasn't available, and they were gonna upgrade us to a four bedroom house on this property in Williamsburg. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I was only needing about four bedrooms for this trip. Anyway, somehow when we got here, they then gave us a condo that's two condos, but each one has two bedrooms and I don't care. It all worked out in the end. I did have the guy though at the desk try to slip in a timeshare tour. And I'm like, no, 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 wait. I paid for this vacation. I paid for this stay. I don't, I don't want no timeshare tour. And he's like, well, you're staying at a timeshare. And I'm like, look, I just was booking a place for my family and I to stay for our mini vacation on Verbo. I don't know where I am. I know I'm near the amusement parks. Okay, so never had a setup like this, but this looks like fun. I think the family will get a kick out of it. So here's where we're staying. So we came in this main door and then we have a door on the right and then we have door on the left okay like I say just interesting so come through here we have a living room area I'm kind of feeling like I don't know one of these will be like kid side probably they'll feel like they're in their own apartment but we've got a little living room area there is a balcony out there and then over here we have a little dining room kitchen which again I'm not cooking in August for the most part. We're ordering. Uh, but hey, we have a kitchen, and if there's not, there is a coffee maker here. I was going to say the other side had a coffee maker, and I figured uh, I brought my coffee creamer. I will be making coffee. That is it. What's in here? Little closet. Little, oh, it probably opens on this side. Do you open fridge? Fridge. Okay, we got it. We got it for our leftovers. And we'll have a microwave to heat up leftovers. All right, so then we have this cute little twin bedroom with a TV. And then we have a bathroom. And then we have, coming on over here, we have a master bedroom. And then this master, the things kids care about, TV. Everywhere this day and age has a TV, but still has a nice big master suite. Nice, nice. I don't know how they're gonna divide this up. I don't know if my boys will share my uh, 13 year, no, 12 year old and 14 year old, or if the girls will take that bedroom and they'll take, I don't know. I'll, we'll let them decide. Uh, this couch also folds out to a bed. And so, let's see, we go over here. Just some slight layout differences. Here we have another living room. Again, I think this is fun. This is not what we were expecting, but you know, you hear the little uptick in my voice. This is cute. Got the little patio there. Little precious table. Another little kitchen that again, Mama's not doing nothing in here, but we got it. And then around this corner, we have another hall bathroom. And then, let's see, there's the washer dryer unit, which is nice. Another twin bedroom. So I'm kind of thinking that our six-year-old and our eight-year-old will stay here on this side and they'll have their own TV. And then Travis and Tobin and I will stay over here. So there's the master. And then we have this big master bathroom. Very nice. So I kind of feel like our teens and preteens will have their own apartment. 
with the open door but it'll be fun we we plan to be gone a lot of the time uh, except for today so they do have a really nice pool area I, I showed you that already and uh, I know the toddlers fussy and we're all ready for dinner they do have another little oddity going on let's see okay that's just closet and I'm like what are the books through these doors and another closet I know where the brooms are now um, their card machine is down to like make the the guest room the, the door cards and uh oh turn on some more lights so whatever we need to come and go we need to text them so i think i'm going to text travis now because i can't go out and get back in i have to stand here i'm going to text him and have him bring the kids and stuff up and then we'll kind of get our plan together on if we're going to stay here at DoorDash or if we're going to go eat somewhere in Williamsburg. The pool's open till 10 and it's not 5 yet, so we've got time to do things. Hey, Kaba, I can't leave since we don't have a key. So do you want to bring kids up and then we will go back and forth to bring our stuff in or some configuration? Question mark. It's this last building on the top floor. The door says 273 on it. Okay, we'll get this party started. Okay, the way that they're dividing it up, I don't know if someone throat punched someone or not, haha, -ha, but uh, oldest teen boy with us gets the master suite. Next teen boy is gonna get this fold out couch area, but it'll be like his own room. And then the girls that are 10 and 16, they're gonna have this room and this bathroom. So here's a look at our large family DoorDash order. This is how I love, I love for it to be done is for each combo to be put in its own individual bag. I didn't even ask for it because it could get too complicated, but this is fantastic. I do have to order each one now uh, and hand them out, but still fantastic package job. Yay. And I will say the lady who delivered our DoorDash had her toddler with her and I told her, man, if DoorDash would have been a thing when I had my first, second, and even third, we would have been DoorDashing every day. Yes, we would have, as in doing it as a job and delivering food. That would have been so great. Such a great job. Okay. Okay, so it looks like we got some bags of fries, some bags of sandwiches. What I say with Chick-fil-A is they have this sealed gluten-free bun and then we could do the grilled chicken with lettuce and tomato and then they also have options like those fruit cups so lots of good choices here yay mini vacay dinner that mama didn't cook thank you to homeschool plus for sponsoring today's video you can get your first 10 days of homeschool plus free then $39.99 per month until canceled, or for a limited time, $199.99 per year until canceled. And what is fantastic about this is Homeschool Plus includes access for up to three children. Today, friends, I want to share with you about Homeschool Plus because as homeschool families, we are getting going to roll into a fresh homeschool year. And I know even though 
I obviously have some other things that I am dealing with. I am looking forward to rolling into my 19th year as a homeschooling mom. I will be homeschooling ages 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 16 with a toddler for bonus points. And Homeschool Plus is a homeschool curriculum for ages 4 through 8 in pre-K through 2nd grade. Homeschool Plus helps you create a customized learning environment for your child. The Homeschool Plus curriculum includes 17 online courses covering art, science, social studies, Spanish, and much more. They also feature a customizable lesson planner to design your unique curriculum for your unique children. There's also offline lesson plans to create the ideal balance between online and offline learning. There's a progress tracker with easy to read charts and graphs. And as I mentioned, it's really neat because you can set up accounts for up to three children. Your subscription includes access to My Math Academy and My Reading Academy, which are fully adaptive math and reading programs for children ages four through eight. It covers four years of learning, interactive activities. It's designed by learning experts, and it also includes teacher tools, such as the lesson planner and full offline lesson plans for each lesson in art, science, and general knowledge courses. It also offers robust reporting. So thanks again to Homeschool Plus for sponsoring today's video. You can get your first 10 days of Homeschool Plus for free, then $39.99 per month until canceled or $199.99 per year until canceled. And again, this includes access for up to three children. So be sure to click the first link in the description below and sign up for Homeschool Plus today. And here's my mama dinner. I got the cool wrap and the fruit and the chicken, grilled chicken. And then I have some other tea over here steeping and liking it for later. Okay, Golden Corral is making us breakfast. They're frying me some eggs there. So that's Mama's breakfast. Okay, it's raining and it's stopped now, but we are here at Bush Gardens and look, they have cows for us. They have some Scottish Highland cows. Ice cream, dripping, rides. I've never had one of these pineapple whips before. Okay, a bunch of kids just went on that ride. Don't mind the wrecked car, haha. -ha. So some of us are gonna go in here and get pretzels for everybody. Okay, we came for pretzels, but we're staying for pretzel sandwiches. It's been voted on. All right, so maybe I saved money, maybe I didn't. Regular pretzels were $3 less than these, so we upgraded for the pizza pretzels. Okay, so breakfast is served again today. Last night we went and had dinner with some family at their home. And today is another day at the park and Golden Corral is cooking breakfast. So Golden Corral did a good job feeding us again. Now yesterday, even though it was rainy, we did not have to wait in any lines. We were a good temperature and we could just do and see all the things we wanted to do. Today, I don't know how different it'll be because it's 87, bright sunshine, no rain, and it's a Friday. So, we'll see. I know schools in our area are back in, and uh, you know, a lot of people are at work today. So maybe it won't be quite like 
I don't know, a Saturday or before school went back. We shall see. So before we hit Bush Gardens for the day, we are gonna go to Walgreens and I'm gonna get some more of that blue lizard sunscreen. Like I tell you, not sponsored, not sponsored, but that stuff has been very helpful with beach trips and different outings this summer. It's gonna be merry-go-round time. Oh boy, are we going on the nay nay? Okay, we're rooting for number six there. There's Penny. Okay, we are doing lunch now. Okay, we are working through the line. All the food, all the food. Gluten-free stuff ordered too. They said that takes about 20 minutes. That's mama's. Having a little late night trip into Harris Teeter. Duck eggs, quail eggs, no ostrich eggs in here though. We had someone get quite a bunch of insect bites on our train ride, so we've come in for some Benadryl cream equivalent. Okay, so it is big water park day. I got your watermelon here, sweetie. We, uh, well, it's 1041. Tobin slept until almost 10, so we were just letting everybody sleep today. So right now, I'm having everybody, we got uh, those probiotic Activia yogurts last night, and just having everyone eat two, and we had a little bit of fruit, so we skipped the breakfast buffet this morning. But we are getting the food pass that you can get at the water park. It's $24 for a kid, $49 for an adult. And of course, we have multiples. But if we just have one meal at the theme park, because you know, once you're in there, they don't let you bring in snacks. Like, they go through bags and everything. I will see some people who like are able to get in a pack of crackers, but they're just very thorough at these theme parks. It's not like the days when I could bring in my bag of snacks. <laughs> so anyway, we've been handling it by having a big buffet breakfast every morning and trying to think what we've done for dinner. Well, the first night we went to visit some family and they had, they hosted us for a big spaghetti dinner and then days of the week, today's Saturday. So then last night we ate a late lunch. Thank you, honey. Thank you, Spoon. We ate a late lunch at the theme park and what else were we doing? Well, I went into Harris Teeter because I wanted to get some water bottles and Gatorade for here, and I just picked up some yogurt and fruit because no one was hungry because we ate so late, and we had that ice cream late too. And that was like at almost nine when we had the ice cream. So 
that was how things kind of melted into dinner. So today we'll be at the water park. They're open till eight. We're gonna get the food pass so that everyone gets an entree and either a side or a dessert plus a drink every 90 minutes. So it'll pay for itself if we're gonna end up eating early lunch, late lunch, dinner, we will eat dinner before we go. Uh, and that's it, Trav. Things probably start to close really, like 30 minutes or so before the park actually closes. So it had to be strategic because if we're getting the pass, you know me, I wanna get every penny out of it. So that's what we're gonna do today, that's different. Okay, so we got our all-day dining passes. Boy, that was a fun experience, haha. -ha. So anyway, we've got hot dog, fries, muffin, 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 pizza, burgers. Got entree, where you can get a dessert or a side, got some mozzarella sticks, lots of good stuff going on. So I feel like royalty. I got an afternoon seat at the water park. Who, who even am I? It's been a very busy Saturday here, but we've been having a lot of fun. Travis is out with Tobin. They have a little splash pad here, so we've come back. We just did the wave pool multiple times. We've done it all. We're gonna go to Rock and Roll Island next. Big kids are grouped up together. All four of them stay together, but they can go and do the rides and everything, and they have their dining wrist bands. The only thing is, every two hours, we have them come back to wherever we tell them we're gonna be to check in, so they should be here any minute. We'll check in again, and then let them go. Again, stay together in a group of four, and that way, the girls have someone to go to the bathroom with. Two girls can go to the bathroom, two boys can go to the bathroom. Just keeps them safe in a little group. So, we're gonna meet up with them and then go on, but right now, Daniel, Benjamin, Tobin, and Travis are the splash pad. I'm sick for a minute. So since we're still wet, we're gonna go to the resort pool and do some nighttime swimming now. Here we go. The water park closed at eight, but this resort pool's open till 10, so we're just gonna be in the water until bedtime. Were you sleeping? Were you sleeping? Oh, Tobin's sleeping. So much swimming. So much swimming. All done swimming. Are you all done swimming? All done water? Oh, say too much vacation. He's call you calling everybody? Daniel, you calling them? So we decided to go for bonus points. This is our driving home day, but we were still here. So yeah, it's 94 and it feels like 107, but we're getting in our third time at Bush Gardens this go round. You staying cool in there? We already went to the splash pad. We've been refilling our cups with water and ice. And they do have lots of these shade tents around. Do an elephant run again. Okay, they are the only two on this ride. Not a bad situation, and they have shade.
bored on this ride. Been there, done that, not even breaking a smile. Now this one, Tempesto, that's the one Naomi and Liam are going on. She's been on it a bunch. I don't think Liam's done it yet. He's 12, so this is gonna be his first time. Wow. I've done a bunch of rides with him, but I don't wanna do that one. No. Wow. My favorite ride here is the Verbolton. That's mom approved. My back and neck can handle it. We have a lot of fun. I'll do that one again today with them. Okay, so this is our next fun adventure. Yay! Yay! Big job. You can handle it. We got a cup. Big chocolate. You're handling your business, huh? Yeah? Yummy. kids on that. This is our last roller coaster for this visit. We made it back home, friends, from over the river, <laughs> through the woods, to Bush Gardens, Williamsburg, and Water Country, USA. We went. I got my discounted 2023 Bush Gardens coffee mug for 50% off. And you know when you could go to a theme park and get something for seven bucks, you feel like you did something, right? Was it? Yes. Yeah, we did pretty good. I'm confused because it was actually more than, it was a $20 cup and we got it for $7.49. So maybe with my past discount, neither here nor there. So, and as I shared, I just didn't want to be here and I really felt like it would be good for me to just load up the whole family and us all go have an adventure. So you have just watched through our five days of adventure. Uh, we were gonna do two days bush gardens, one day water country, and then come home. But we decided to go for bonus points because everyone just had such a lovely time that our coming home day, we spent all day at bush gardens that day, and then came home that evening. And I will say, at the other end of it, I feel better. And I think it's more, uh, not so much roller coasters, but just intuitively, I knew I needed to clear my head and be busy, but not be busy with the type of things I'd be busy with at home. You know, at home, I wanted to purge things. We actually had our first deep cleaning, purge, decluttering, super organizing day yesterday. Today we are having day two. If I get through my list today, but again, I'm, I'm in the headspace to do this now. If I get through my list today, then tomorrow we will have a late day. But if we don't get through it, I'm gonna go, go for day three tomorrow. I think we can do it. We'll see how it goes. But before we left on our little Mama Healy trip, I was not in the headspace to do that, to cook anything, to garden, just, just let me get away with my kids and have a nice time. So that was very good for me. The first day even driving down, I felt very heavy. I cried a lot in the van. Uh, we had like a three hour drive down. Um, that evening when I got out at the resort, it was good for me because right out of the bat, uh, I guess just like interacting with other people kind of helped me get out of my head So um, I had a guy at the resort trying to sign me up for a timeshare tour and um, I wasn't rude, he wasn't rude. 
I was just telling him that, you know, we, we don't do timeshares, we're not timeshare people. And he said, yeah, but you're staying at a timeshare resort. And I was like, I just got on Verbo and booked a condo for my family. I don't know where I am. <laughs> okay, I don't know where I am or how I got here. This is just what I could get. So me being here means nothing other than I wanted to be close to the things we were doing. So even that interaction with him was good for me. God bless you, gentlemen. And then we had the adventure, which I don't know right now if it came out in the video, but even though we got booked in and I was a little confused about what we were upgrading to when I first booked the trip. And again, I booked this trip like second, like the day after my miscarriage. Part of what I did that whole week laying in bed was the next, I, I booked this trip. Uh, I already told you I, you know, watched a lot of House Hunters International that I could help you find the right apartment in Spain, haha. -ha. But um, even booking this trip that we just went on was good for me. And I just booked like a, I think a three bedroom, two bath condo because it also had a couch that pulled out. It was Travis, only seven children. It was just, it was Travis, myself, and seven of the kids, kids ages two through 16. And the two year old can still sleep in a pack and play on a trip, that's fine. Um, my mom and adult sons weren't going, you know, no one else was going. So we didn't need like a five or six bedroom setup. That first condo, the owners messaged me back and said it wasn't available, but they were upgrading us to a four bedroom for the same price. And I'm like, okay, that's fine, okay. I think I did tell you this during the tour. Thank you for listening to me again. It's hard when I film like over a week and then I wanna wrap it up and get any high points and basically just tell you like how I started this video basically in tears and I'm ending it in a very good place. So not that I won't mourn the miscarriage and revisit that, but I feel like, I think I'm about two weeks in now, I feel like I am through that initial grieving phase where of course now I feel like I wanna cry, and that's okay, but I feel like I can do life again. Does that make sense? I was even, uh, like my mom was telling me this morning, you know, ta asking about all the sourdough. When are, when are we gonna have sourdough again? Uh, I do have a cooking day coming up. I wasn't going to do any in August, but I feel like now I can. I feel like having a big cooking day, doing a bunch of meatballs and sourdough and whatever else, like, those things feel like they'll be good for me now. But I really needed, again, that mama healing time to get back to where I am. But back to the condo situation. When we checked in, their card machine was broke. So maintenance had to let us in. And I was a little confused, but it was all okay because the way that they upgraded us is they gave us two two-bedroom two bath condos, which means we actually ended up with four bathrooms, which was nice, and four bedrooms, plus two fold out sofas. So I I know I showed you, the, the teens ended up like having their own condo, even though we were there through the open door. It was just a very, very nice day, very comfortable time. And so that first day I was still very tender. I guess that's my word. Um, that I was using. I just felt very broken and vulnerable and tender. And even that night swimming at the pool with the family, I was, you know, faking it until I make it. It's what you do, right? Uh, still fully acknowledging how I felt, but also trying to get over that hump because there's always a brighter day, right? So uh, the next day at the park, they were having such a fun time and it was so busy and there was so much walking that getting out and moving was very important. Um, if I would not have been able to go away on a mama happiness five day trip with my family, uh, I probably would have just gone on a bunch of hikes and done a bunch of local walking off the property. Um, but I felt pretty good that first day at the park I think I cried once. And again, I know, 
and you all are so kind. I, I totally get, I can cry 15 times a day and it's okay. I'm just sharing the progression on how I'm doing. And then the next day and the day after that, I didn't cry at all. I've had a flash or two, but I haven't actually cried. So, so just shared with you, the family time away was very helpful. We got back late Sunday. Our main goal was to get to bed. And then yesterday, even though we all still slept in, we worked heavy on some big cleaning and decluttering projects. And then this morning, I needed to get a segment filmed for a sponsor, which I just got done, and wrap up this video. And now for the rest of the day, we're going back into our projects. The kids have been out, outside a lot today. Um, again, the lake ledger this week, I have a hair appointment, a massage appointment, have some appointments later this week. And I just think this will be, well this is my first week getting through life at home. And uh, it was good though to use our Bush Gardens passes and kind of buy myself some endorphins, <laughs> probably is how to think of it. Uh, we had a really nice time. So thank you for coming along with us for this last week. And as I said, friends, even though Mama, even though I have been pulling myself together, the rolling into the fresh homeschool season is upon us. So thank you for supporting me and supporting this channel. And thank you to Homeschool Plus for sponsoring today's video. So don't forget to click the first link in the description below and get started with Homeschool Plus today. So I know last week I only got one video out. This week I have this video. And I may have a second video come out this week. But if not, by next week I'll probably be at least doing one and slowly getting more videos out. Videos are good for me. Talking to you all is good for me. Creating content. I, I love creating. So these are all good things that make my heart happy. So thank you for just holding my hand through all of this. Also, all of you who signed up for my YouTuber Extraordinaire course, we did have to, of course, pause that for a few weeks. Everyone who signed up already knows, but just a little reminder to all of you who did sign up that on August 29th, our first module launches and you'll get the weekly live coaching calls with me and me teaching you all about YouTube, which also brings me a lot of joy. That will be coming up soon and that'll be great for you. And that'll be great for me because that's one of my favorite topics besides Jesus and homeschooling. And I love talking about YouTube. So thank you for hanging out with me. And I will see you real soon with another brand new video. Bye-bye. Thanks again to Homeschool Plus for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to click the first link in the description below to get started with Homeschool Plus today. Mm -hmm.